Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly predictive reading for January 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take the portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Virgo. Off camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. The King of Wands, Virgo. This is a fire energy person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be either Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Anywhere that this fire energy is prevalent in someone's chart, it could be you or someone else. Now this is someone that's independent, they're influential, and they help those that they care about. You can rely on their honesty and their intelligence. They're loyal and they're fair-minded, and they give you good advice. This can also refer to a situation which is exactly as appears to be, with no hint of deception. This can also indicate passion for a project, good fortune coming your way, could be in the form of unexpected help or advice or good news, Maybe a promotion or an inheritance. This <clears throat> could be a good marriage. Someone that's a devoted friend. They're strong and they have a powerful belief in their self and their achievement. They're able to dominate others through willpower and self-confidence. There's impatience here and responsibility. This is someone that may long for the day when they rode free as a knight. They dislike details, yet they're charming and inspiring, and they would definitely rather lead than follow. He's mastered the use of the fiery element, and they're wise about business. They know when to take action and how to create harmonious human relationships in the process. This could also be the time is right to advance your goals and explore your possibilities. This could be good news to further your goals. Your second card, and this is the energies that are crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Here you are, Virgo. Number nine of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Hermit. This card represents Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury. Now this has to do with insight, introspection, inner guidance. It can be wisdom offered, discretion could be instructions from an expert in your field or a meeting with someone who will guide you on the path to material or spiritual ends. This represents attainment of goals. You're seeking meaning. The hermit withdraws from the world in order to find wisdom, and isolation allows the mind to lurk inwards. This is a shift of attention away from people towards examination of yourself and of your life. You're seeking solutions on your own. It could be in a different direction than you originally thought, and you could find out something quite substantial. This is a spiritual quest for truth and enlightenment. It's being up in your head, soul searching, self-examination, solitude, study. You're being alone and private and serious, unhurried, introspective, discriminating. You're slowing down and distancing yourself from others, physically or psychologically, or you could be mentoring or guiding others, researching, investigating, seeking answers, turning away from people towards self-examination. The hermit waits patiently to you to turn to him for advice. You may be aware of this influence, but are ignoring it. Or you may be looking for guidance from the invisible world. Or you may be isolating yourself in some way, seeking solitude and wisdom and inner peace. The answers are deep in your soul. King of Wands with the Hermit card can represent an older person who holds incredible wisdom. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are aware of. The Ten of Swords, Virgo, air energy. This is a card of ending of a period of trials and tribulations, of hitting rock bottom. Of course, there's nowhere to go but up now. This is... The end of hardships. It's making a clean break from past hurtful pain, and now a new cycle is beginning. 
From here on in, it only gets better. It's closure and enough. It was as bad as it possibly could have gotten. You might felt you were a victim, been betrayed or lied to, but you can draw wisdom from this defeat. You could have felt like you made huge sacrifices for others and yet received nothing in return. You'll need to pick yourself up and get on with life. This is a lesson learned, and there's no making the same mistakes twice. These are painful endings. There's broken trust. It's something that can no longer be fixed. You'll have to start manifesting a new beginning. This is allowing change rather than fighting it. It's preparing and planning to cope with mental pain. You've received deep wounds, and now this is the final ordeal, and it won't last forever. And you're going to survive. There's a new beginning now that must be your focus. Could be some thoughts that are hurting you. There's maybe even someone feeling some back pain. King of Wands with the Ten of Swords. This is handling difficult situations, and you're handling them well. It's knowing what decisions to make, but there's an advice to be aware of a violent temper. And now your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the resolution. And this can be a surprise being in the future position. Number 21 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the world. This card is ruled by the four elements, the four corners of the earth, which stands for stability. These are the guides that lead us on through the next phase in life. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. This is a major completion. It's a reward and success and triumph. It's having to do with mastery. A cycle is completing. No, this can also have to do with travel or a change of residence. This is someone that knows about life and about pain, and yet they will dance for joy. It's the ability to overcome problems and obstacles and sorrow, and there's assured success. It's fulfillment of your hopes and dreams. It's life-changing. It's an elevation in life, and there's support by unseen forces. Could be a move or a new relationship that will prosper. It's the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one, and it leads to long-term happiness. The world points the way to the ultimate. It's a resolution after struggle. Both the wheel and the world refer to the cylindrical nature of our lives and our progression through its cycles. This is coming full circle. You're feeling accomplished and now a more experienced person. The King of Wands with the World card, this is what you set out, you will, you do, will come to com completion. And you make friends wherever you go. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Five of Wands, Virgo, fire energy. This is a new rush of energy. It's competition, struggle, battling. It can be competition in social or career areas. It's new factors that come in that demand that you change and adapt and grow, and you might have to put in more effort to keep what you've already gained. This can represent mediation, challenge, struggle, petty obstacles and annoyances, short-term difficulties in communication, which, once overcome, will change things for the better. But for the short term, it's like gremlins, competing forces without a clear winner as yet, fighting, conflicts, could be having to do with egos. It's holding your position within drama. This can also represent a building site, a workshop, carpenters, scaffolders, creative chaos. It's okay to jump in. This process may be messy, but it's worth it. It's fighting for what matters to you. Could be a competition of some sort, a card of ordeals and tests and lawsuits. King of Wands with the Five of Wands. This is controlling your competitive drive or commanding others to follow your lead. It's passionately holding on to your opinion. It's working in a fast-paced, stimulating environment. 
Now the hermit with the ten of swords, this is being emotionally unavailable. Your choices and actions were the direct influence for failure. The need to accept the consequences of your actions will then enable you to be able to move forward. The Hermit with the World card, this is success that will be achieved slowly over time. Hermit with the Five of Wands, this represents it was your responsibility to deal with it. It's being self-reliant rather than dependent on others. The Ten of Swords with the World card, this is fear of failure which could block your growth. Ten of Swords with the Five of Wands, this is giving up before trying due to it's not getting any better. It's a struggle that seems to be working at cross-purposes. Someone could be relentless. Could be fighting that gets tiring. The world with the Five of Wands, this is continuing the struggle, even though completed. And there will be success. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Virgo, you've got card number 41, representing self-discipline. Card number 41. This card indicates a need for self-discipline, motivation, and action to improve your quality of life. By drawing this card, you're being reminded that you need to meet the universe halfway because your dreams won't manifest by themselves. This is a time to clarify your goals and to plan and prioritize your ideas and actions. And then take the mental, emotional, and physical action needed to make your dreams come true. You are being encouraged to rein in any thoughts and emotions that are contrary to what you're trying to attract. You know, that giving up before trying. Rather than letting your doubts and worries consume you, you must have the strength and the willpower to focus predominantly on your dreams. You can attain those goals with a strong, disciplined mind when you surrender the outcome to the divine. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to be motivated and strong. This is where you need to play your part. The universe will provide the opportunities, but you need to see them through. There's an affirmation with this card, and it is, with self-discipline and action, I make my dreams come true. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.